Well, good morning, and it is a great morning here at Pittsburgh State. My name is Chris Kelly. I serve as the Associate Vice President for University Marketing and Communication, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to historic John Lance Arena for this morning's very special dedication. We have a lot of special guests with us uh, this morning, including the President and CEO of the Kansas Board of Regents, Dr. Andy Tompkins. Retired former Gorilla Men's head basketball coach, Gene Iba. <laughs> former Pittsburgh State All-Conference basketball player, Bernie Arnelio is here with us. <laughs> and of course, our guests of honor, Alan and Roberta Wetzel, who are joined by members of their family, including their daughter, Joe McCandless, and her husband, Tim, and grandsons, Brian and Brett McCandless. Their daughter, Jan Young, uh, grandsons, Darren and Dylan Young. And their daughter, Judy Wetzel. Also with us this morning are Alan and Roberta's siblings, Roberta Gosh and Bill and Linda Wetzel. They kind of brought their own cheering section, don't you think? It's great. Well, it's now my honor to introduce the president of Pittsburgh State University, Dr. Stephen Scott. Well, good morning and welcome to John Lance Arena. Glad that you all turned out for this very, very special day. In fact, it's a historic day at Pittsburgh State as, as we mark for the very first time in a 110 year history a name on the court where we play basketball. We've never had that before. We're here today because of a relationship that started more than 50 years ago when Alan and Roberta Wetzel first enrolled at what was then Kansas State Teachers College. You know, basketball has always been an important part of their lives, and in fact, it's how they first met. Many of you have heard this story before, but it's a story I think we need to tell and retell in the years to come. Alan was a two-time basketball letterman with the Gorillas, and Roberta was a cheerleader. They met during a basketball trip, which is where their love for each other and for this university began. And it's proper this morning that we have members of John Lance's family with us as well. And Alan played for and would later coach as a graduate assistant with Coach Lance, the man for whom this arena is named. Wonderful connection. It was on the court that Alan learned the importance of teamwork, leadership, and preparation. The lessons he learned from Coach Lance provided him with skills that would lead him to lead a successful business. In a sense, Alan and Roberta began their lives together on the playing court. So how fitting it is today that we find ourselves here. Like so many of our alums, they wanted to assure that future generations of gorillas would be able to enjoy the same opportunities and advantages that they had come to enjoy. And so last year, they provided the leadership gift to help begin the renovation of John Lance Arena. You can see the results of this first phase of the project in the new seating and hardwood floor. As we like to say, there's over 30,000 square feet of maple hardwood. Doesn't it look beautiful? Absolutely. The addition of offices and meeting space on the mezzanine will occur this next summer. Alan and Roberta, with your help, we are transforming this arena into a facility that honors you, but also honors the achievements of Coach John Lance, and I'm sure you feel very good about that. Certainly we do. On behalf of Pittsburgh State University, its students, faculty, and staff, it's my honor and distinct pleasure to officially accept this playing court, which will forever be known as Wetzel Court. Thank you. has been one of the most enjoyable experiences in our retirement. It's been exciting to be a part of the process, board by board. It, uh, today we honor the past, 
celebrate the present and envision the future. We honor John, Coach John Lance and all that he did for this university, its students, and for this community. Burley Emilio, who played with Allen, is here today representing all former Pitt State athletes and the successful programs of the past. We appreciate Mary Lance's family participating in this project, and they are here today. Celebrating with us today is retired former head men's basketball coach Gene Iba, who reintroduced us to Pitt State basketball several years ago. And he has been very instrumental in our participation and is a great friend. Thank you, Coach, for being here today. <laughs> Together with Coach Lord and Coach Subaru and Coach Muff, we spent, as well as Coach Iva, we spent many, many plans discussing, hoping, dreaming for updated facilities. With the leadership, of President Steve Scott and the vision and commitment of Athletic Director Jim Johnson, those dreams are becoming a reality. We also are celebrating today with our family and friends. Their enthusiastic support for this project has made it fun for all of us. It's exciting to see the transformation of this arena. It's clear that these improvements and the future indoor event center, the future of Pitt State Athletics is bright. With Coach Lord, Coach Muff, and Coach Subaru leading the way, we will continue to succeed in helping student athletes reach their full potential. For Alan and I, this is paying it forward. I would close by saying, it's game day. So, go Heroics! Now that's the gorilla spirit. Thank you, Roberta. Thank you, Alan. And I'd like to invite you both, along with your daughters, to join President Scott, Athletic Director Jim Johnson, as we officially unveil our new court name. Okay, let's prepare the arena for our new court. On the count of three. One, two, three. Welcome to Wetzel Court. Lights come back on. Alan and Roberta, to commemorate today's dedication, Coach Lord, Coach Muff, and Coach Subaru would like to present you with a small token of our appreciation. And I believe we have some students helping us, as it should be, bring this forward. have a wall big enough to hang this, we hope. It truly is a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one more round of applause for Alan and Roberta Wetzel and the Wetzel family. Thank you so much for attending today's dedication. We've got tip-off now less than an hour away. Let's go, Gorillas! <laughs> 